We are just a couple of days away from the official start of fall, the autumnal equinox. It's when the direct rays of sun are directly over the equator, signaling the start of fall in the northern hemisphere and the start of spring in the southern hemisphere. And we are exactly three days away from that happening on September the 23rd, about equal parts day as night. But have you noticed that the sunrise and sunset not exactly 12 hours apart. There's a couple minute difference on both sides. So why is that? First off, well, technically our sunrises and sunsets happen when the center of the sun rises above the horizon. That's number one. Number two, something called atmospheric refraction. As light enters our atmosphere, a light is actually bent. So when we're actually seeing a sunrise or a sunset, we're actually seeing a bent image of the sun actually rising. And thirdly, both the Cascades and the Olympics hinder our view of seeing exactly when the sunrise and sunset actually happens. Now, speaking of the Olympics, let's head on over to the Microsoft Surface Hub where we have a vantage point of downtown Seattle facing west. There's Puget Sound and there's the Olympic mountains in the background. Now during the summer months, the sun looks like it's setting north of the Olympic Peninsula. And during the winter months, the sun appears to be setting south of the Olympic Peninsula, which is kind of interesting. But this time of year, right during the fall equinox, the sun basically splits the Olympics down the middle, and it appears that the sun is setting directly west. And in fact, on September the 23rd, it will indeed be directly west. One last thing I'm going to note about the fall equinox is the Aurora Borealis does tend to be a little bit more active around both the spring and the fall equinox. So head outside late at night, you might see some northern lights.